Once you've created your patch, of course it's always going to be perfect, but in that rare instance where you have to go in and make a little change, EOS has some great editing features for your patch, so let's take a look at those. So let's go into patch. So let's say channel one has a bad dimmer and I need to move it to a new dimmer. So I can simply say channel one, there is a replace soft key. I can replace that address and I can maybe now make it something like dimmer 101, which was the next available one. And I can, if it's already in use, I can just go ahead and overwrite that. And now you can see that it is replaced. If I don't use the replace address and I simply put one at 101, it would add a part and both dimmer 1 and 101 would wind up in the channel. So the replace is a nice way to do that. One of the other nice things about replace is it preserves that channel in all of its programming. So that's very, very cool. Another option available to you is the move channel. And what move channel allows you to do is just that. You can take a channel and all of its programming and all of its relationships, whether it's in a group or a preset or cues, whatever and you can just simply move it to a new number. And the way you would do that is if I wanted to now move my channel 21, for instance, my first Mac, and I wanted to make it channel 20, I could say 21, and the way to get to the move command is a double hit of the copy to key, move to 20, enter. And now I've simply moved that channel and all of its related programming and relationships in the show to a new channel number. There are a couple of different commands you can, you can use to copy channel information. Say, for instance, I want to add a, another scroller into channel 15. I could take channel 14, use the copy to, and I could copy to 15. Now, what this would do is just copy the patch information. So it would really just duplicate that channel in a new place. But it doesn't necessarily give it all of the programming that I've already had. So this is literally just adding another channel that's identical to 14. However, once I enter that destination address, I do have a soft key here that says entire show. What's nice about entire show is that actually clones the channel, all of its programming, all of its relationships and cues, all of its group information, if it's in a preset or palette or whatever, and it moves it to 15. This is really, really handy if, say, you add another backlight, and that backlight needs to do everything that the backlight right next to it is doing, but it needs its own address. So I can simply do that by saying, channel 14, copy to channel 15, entire show, and now I have a clone of channel 14 and it's ready to have its new address assigned to it. Now, if I happen to not need some channels that I have patched, there are a couple of different things I can do. I can simply do an unpatch command, which removes the address, and in this case, maybe channel one is no longer needed, so I could say one, and the way to do this is just hit at enter. It will ask me to please confirm, and now, I have left channel one and all of its programming and all of its relationships in place, but I have simply removed the address from it. Now, I can also delete a channel, and there's a delete command. Maybe I don't need channel 16. I can hit the delete key. Please confirm. And now what that has done is it will take 16 out of everything entirely. It deletes the relationships. It deletes any uh, programming that it's had. It's gone, and you really can't get it back. If I now patch something to channel 16, it's a fresh channel, so it really does eliminate it from the console entirely until you reuse it. And those are the tools available to you to modify your patch on the EOS.